Well, hello everybody. I'm going to take you on a brief tour of how to do a manual property boost. And I'm gonna start right at the very beginning uh, with the basics of actually creating a manual listing. So I'm in KV Core. I've logged in here. This is my dashboard. I'm gonna go over here on the left-hand side and I'm gonna click on listings. I'm gonna choose manual listings. I've already got a few set up here already, uh, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna take you through the steps of actually creating one. So I'm gonna click on here to say add a listing and I'm gonna create a new listing and I'm gonna use my, uh, I'm gonna use an address uh, just down the road here from where I live to just get this going for you. Um, and using a fancy postal code. Um, I don't need to enter in any of this other information. I don't think I can click on next. It'll allow me to go through. So once I've gone through, I'm gonna choose which type of listing I want to do. Um, this listing has three different types you can choose for manual. You can make it a coming soon and exclusive or sold. Uh, none of them are actually required, but um, it will show up on your website as well if you set it to active. So it's just one way of actually identifying what it is. So if I were to do a listing that is previously sold and I wanna update some with some uh, recent photos, for example, I can click on sold. Uh, I can choose other details. Uh, the important ones you wanna do for property boost are going to be the number of bedrooms and the number of bathrooms. Uh, for example, here, I wanna set this to four bedrooms, two bathrooms, it's a two-story home. Uh, just to get some basics in here that will show up on the ad. Bedrooms and bathrooms always show up on property boost listing ads, so you wanna make sure that you at least have those populated there. Um, I'm going to scroll through. You can you can add as much or as little details here as you want. For the purposes of what I'm doing with Property Boost, I just want to have the number of bedrooms and bathrooms uh, because they will show up on the ad. So I'm going to click on Next from here. And from here, I can actually upload photos. I'm going to click on Upload. And I'm going to choose, I believe I've got a photo here of my house that I downloaded recently. So I'll use this one here upload the photo there is a limit on how big the photos can be they can be they have to be smaller than five megabytes so you might want to have to actually shrink them down uh, before you upload them but this gives you the opportunity to upload more photos if you want to i can pick a different photo here for example i can pick uh, i think it's a photo of the inside you have a couple of photos to choose from so i'm going to click on next you want to set the price here. Uh, if you want the price to show on um, on your uh, property boost ad, you're going to want to make sure that you've got your um, your price populated here as well. <clears throat> so you make sure you put that in, and that's really all you need to do. So now I've got my new listing. You can see it right here that I just created. Uh, it's got this great information on it. You can go back and edit it if you want to. You can add more photos if you need to whatever you want to do, but you've got all this information created in the manual listing. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over to Property Boost. So I'm going to slide over to Property Boost. I'm going to click here on the uh, on the start uh, page, the home page of Property Boost, and I'm going to enter in a property address. So I'm going to create uh, enter in the address of the, uh, of the listing that I just created. I'm going to search for it here. There it is. Now you can always tell which listing you have that is manually created because it'll have this manual inside of the um, inside these parentheses after the address. By contrast, I can look for a different address. Oh, not Payne. It's Pine. Pine Brook. Oops, I think it's three sixty-seven. Now you can see here, this is a real MLS listing. So Pinebrook uh, in Bedford, New York, um, it has nothing in parentheses after the address. That means this is an active MLS listing. And then here I've got a version of this same listing that I'm searching for that also has sold in the parentheses, meaning that that is a, a previous sold listing for that address that I'm looking for. But for these purposes, I'm just gonna go back to my, the one I just created. This is my manual listing click on it, use selected listing. And now what's gonna do, it's gonna bring up my property boost. So now I've got the same photo that I just selected. You can choose here to select a new listing, I'm sorry, a new listing image. And now you can see the other image that I uploaded as well. So I can pick between these two, but this uh, primary image that I upload is good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use selected. And that's really all there is to it. So I wanted to make sure that people understood where you're going to go to create a manual listing 
for the purposes of using it in property boost. Where this becomes particularly um, useful is if you want to um, use a listing that's not yet uh, through the MLS feed, if it's not available yet. It could also be that you have a previous uh, l version of the listing you have, that maybe the photos aren't there anymore because it's an older listing, the photos aren't active, or maybe the photos are old. You can always go back and create a manual version of that listing in order to promote it as a sold listing. So uh, that's just a little bit about how to do this for you. I wanted to make sure that people understood how to do it uh, because we did sort of go through it quickly in the last webinar but here you go this is uh, taking you right through from creating a manual listing through to boosting that listing on property boost